When people become aware of the reality of demons and controlling powers, they naturally ask, what kind of creatures are they? And what is their origin? Welcome to a Grace Digital presentation. In this video, we will cover what kind of creatures demons are. 1. The Will We see in Matthew 12 verse 44, where Jesus discusses the behaviors of demons. Jesus makes a note that the demon that comes out of a man says, I will return to my house from which I came from. The mention of the word will shows that the demon has a characteristic of a will to make a decision and following it up with a corresponding action. The will is a powerful indicator that an individual is a personality. Number two, emotions. In, in James 2 verse 19, we have the evidence that demons have the ability to feel fear, which is an emotion. James 2 verse 19 says, you believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. Trembling is an outward mark of intense emotion. When confronted by the authority of Christ, demons have yielded to screaming, which is a manifestation of their fear. 3. Intellect Intellect it is evident in the Word of God that these spirits have knowledge that is not derived from natural sources. We see in the Bible the first time a demon-possessed person confronts Jesus in the synagogue in Capernaum. The demon spoke out of a demonized man saying, I know who you are, the Holy One of God, as seen in Mark 1 verse 24. This was more than a year before Jesus' own disciples even knew. The disciples did not even know what this demon had discerned immediately. 4. Ability to speak In the New Testament, we see in the first three Gospels and also in the book of Acts, several examples of demons able to speak through the vocal organs of the person they were controlling. The demons even had the ability to answer questions and carry on a conversation. We usually regard the ability to speak as a distinctive mark of personality. 5. Self-awareness The trait of self-awareness is also a strong indicator of his personality. Jesus asked a demon-possessed man in the country of the Gadarenes in Mark 5 verse 9, What is your name? A demon answered on behalf of itself and the other demons. My name is Legion, for we are many. This shows that they have the awareness of both its own identity and that of other demons occupying this man. It is hard for us to entertain the idea of a person without a body. However, even though demons lack a body, they have all the usual attributes of a personality, which is a will, emotions, intellect, ability to speak, and self-awareness. What is the origin? I do not believe that the scripture provides us with sufficient evidence to say with certainty what the origins of demons are. However, there are three main theories concerning the origin of demons. The first theory is that there is some of the fallen angels associated with Satan in his rebellion against God. 
The second theory is that they are disembodied spirits of the pre adamic race that perished under some judgment of God, not recorded in detail in scripture. The third is that they are simply disembodied spirits of the Nephilim, which were heroes of the old, giants mentioned in the Bible, that they were part men and part heavenly creatures. As mentioned earlier, I do not believe the scripture provides us with sufficient evidence to say with certainty what the origins of demons are. The Bible only records the history of one man's race, which is Adam. In this connection, the Bible uses the phrase, the descendants of the sons of Adam. The Bible focuses on redeeming those lost sons of Adam with Jesus who arrived on earth as the lost Adam. Our concept of demons, however, has a practical bearing on how we deal with them. Our focus remains in dealing with these spirits. Our generation will keep Satan on his knees. We are going to make this so unbearable for Satan. When Jesus sent the disciples out in Matthew chapter 10, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out. If you have been suffering some defeat in the hands of those controlling spirits, your defeat will be turned to victory. As you lay hold on the truth of God's word, we also share how to cast these spirits out in a video on our channel called Nine Steps to Cast Out Controlling Spirits. Stay blessed. Question of the day. What testimony happened this week that you are grateful for? And to watch our series on how to cast out these spirits, click here.